Do you know that you can annotate or label video data as well in order to build and train any object detection model using YOLO v4. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to annotate or label objects in the video so that if you have any specific requirements and you want to build your own custom YOLO v4 object detection model that can be trained on video images in order to identify the objects contained in the video, then this video is particularly for you. By the end of this video, you will be able to learn a lot of concepts. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel. And I have seen that a lot of times I see people appreciating the content but forgetting to subscribe due to immense excitement. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. If you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. You can download the code related Jupyter notebooks and other related material by enrolling to this course on the AI University website. If you like to go through uh, these courses on mobile, then consider downloading the AI University Android app. All the courses are offered for free on this website as well as on the app. So first of all, let's discuss about video representation in terms of images. So most of you might have already known that video is a collection of images or numerous frames. A frame is one of the many still images which when combined in the sequence makes a video such that these image frames are played at speed. For example, if you see on the screen, there are multiple image frames combined together. Each frame consists of one image and when these frames will be played at a speed, then it will be giving a notion of a moving picture. So to conclude, a single frame of a video is represented as image and sequence of images forms a video. Now in order to annotate a video, we can annotate the individual images separately. We can take 5 to 6 images per second of a video to annotate. We call this number as FPS or frames per second. That is, if we are getting 10 images in one second of a video, then the FPS would be 10 FPS. Now, in order to convert a video into a set of images, we use a command line tool known as FFmpeg. We can install FFmpeg from Anaconda prompt. So let me open my Anaconda prompt now. Make sure that your virtual environment is activated. Okay, so you can activate your virtual environment by using this command. Activate and the name of the virtual environment. In my case, it is application ENV. So press enter. And now you can install the FFmpeg from Anaconda prompt. So you need to uh, write this command. Conda install hyphen C conda forge ffmpeg okay in order to install it so press enter now if you want to get it installed on mac linux or uh, windows machines then drop a message in the comment box to me and i will share the necessary commands to install it so you could see that the ffmpeg tool is getting installed and then prompted you can type y and press enter so our ffmpeg tool is now installed now on anaconda prompt change the directory path or the location to the one where we have kept our video by making use of command or the cd command cd and then let's go back to c and then type so my video is actually uh, present in the f drive so i'm changing it to f drive I have a folder named video there so let me go inside this video folder so type cd video again and I'm inside my video folder so if I type dir here you would see I have a file named coffeecup.mp4 let me show you that file so this is my video and I wanted to convert this video into various frames or images so i will be using this ffmpeg tool which i have installed a while ago to convert this video into images so now let's try to extract images from this video uh, which i showed you a while ago 
using the ffm pack tool so type the following command now on anaconda prompt ffm peg then hyphen i followed by the name of the file which is coffee cup dot mp4 followed by hyphen vf followed by fps count as 5 followed by the naming convention for the images to be generated so i wanted to keep the naming convention of the file as img hyphen percent t dot jpg okay so jpg is the file extension uh, you could use any other format such as png or jpeg the length of this coffee cup video is 10 seconds so i would overall get 50 images generated in the folder because i have kept the fps count of frames per second as 5 so 5 multiplied by 10 is equals to 50 here hyphen i tells us that the coffee cup is an input file hyphen vf is the way to put filter since we wanted fps as 5 so hyphen vf uh, suggests that the filter in our case is fps of frames per second so let's run this command and head over to the directory after that so you could see that processing has been complete so now let's head over to the f drive video directory bravo you could see that 50 images are generated with the naming convention we defined so img hyphen one dot jpg img hyphen two dot jpg so and so forth and you could see the count here there are 50 images generated now let's open one image you could see that we have various objects here we have book we have coffee cup we have roses or any other kind of flowers etc now let's open the label img tool but before that we need to change the directory again so we need to go to c drive so we need to go inside the label img folder in the c drive so cd users yes and then my own directory and then label img and now you need to run this command python label img.py once opened you can then click on open dir button okay because now we have a dedicated directory which contains the several images so now we can open this or we can click on this uh, open dir button to open particular directory so you could now see on the right hand side that when i selected uh, my video folder which is this video folder inside f drive all of my images inside that folder are listed on the lower right corner you could see all the images here and now if you click on the next button continuously you will observe that this is kind of giving a notion of moving image or a video Similarly, you can click uh, several times in the pre on the previous button to access various images and you can see that it is giving a notion of moving video. So now you are ready to label the images. I have already explained the process in detail in the previous video. So you can go through that video if you want to get complete details of it. I will show you uh, the process very briefly here. So let's click on this create rect box button and create a rectangular bounding box around this cup now you can give so you you would see a pop up window uh, window appearing so now you can name it as coffee and once you name it as coffee the label appears in the right hand side of the window now let's draw one more a bounding box and this time around this flower and name it as flower and click ok so you could see that flower label is also generated here you could see on the left hand side that the format is already select selected as YOLO but you can toggle between uh, these two options to generate the uh, images in particular format I would suggest to keep it YOLO format only since we are building object, object detection model uh, using YOLO v4 and then click on save and i wanted to keep 
it inside video folder only so save it similarly you can click on next button now and annotate the images accordingly if in case new object appears in the second image or frame once you do that you will see the corresponding classes.txt and annotation files generated in the folder so you could see that the Im first image we labeled there is a corresponding text file with the same name img-1.txt generated alongside and there is a classes.txt file as well i have explained the significance of both of these two files in the previous video so you can watch that video link is given in the i button above so let's open this classes.txt file so you could see that there are two uh, annotations or labels appearing here coffee and flower which we actually labeled using label img2 now let's open the second uh, annotation file and you can see that there are entries for location number center x center y width and height for both flower as well as coffee so let's close it uh, one thing you need to remember is anyway it is already creating uh, the text file with the same name uh, name as uh, image file but if in case you are not getting it then in that case you need to manually change the text file name same as the image file name this is a standard and guidelines uh, followed by yolo so you need to follow that as well okay so whenever there is a image there should be a corresponding annotation file with the same name. So if in case, uh, uh, so let's say we have this image img-3.jpg, you need to have a, a corresponding file generated with the same name that is img-3.txt. Only the extension will change. So folks, this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video, I will cover another important topic of the YOLO v4 series. So here is today's question select one of the right option we can extract the images from a video using command ffgpeg ffpfeg ffmpeg ffgmep please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscribe to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you